2012 uh, 13 year uh, being the centenary year uh, i personally feel it as a great fortune uh, i feel uh, very fortunate to be the warden of this hostel the warden of this uh, majestic magnificent uh, mekican hall and uh, uh, it is something which i can never uh, forget the uh, and uh, the experiences that i have had with the boys uh, it is indeed uh, very rewarding because all in my life i have been teaching but uh, in teaching you don't have so much uh, uh, interaction with the uh, students but in the last 13 years the interaction i have had uh, is um, very uh, rewarding has been three years living in Mexico as the living in Mexico has has been one of the best part in my life I was just narrating to my wife and on the way up that we, it was the first monsoons of '85, and I was coming with my father from after getting the admission in the Hawks College. And uh, Professor Bode, Professor Bode said that you have to go to the hostel and choose which hostel you want, and it is up to them to decide where you get it. So we were at that corner, which is just the lamppost. When you enter from that angle, the way I had my father had two information in hand. One was the hostel name and Dr. David. So we looked at this institute, the structure which is standing up, and that angle we were already seeing uh, Mackinac, and that was first uh, view of the hostel, and I think that must have caught his imagination and mine also. A young 15, 16 year old boy coming in and not knowing what college life is or what hostel life is, and then the name I think Dr. David also must have helped my father because that kind of said, let's go there and we cross the road. It was the first child of the season and it was a very different feeling, a very uh, a fresh feeling for us. We crossed in and then 85 to 93, the rest is history. I, I was part of the hostel committee, I continuously was the mess committee and then I was the assistant warden of the hostel for two years. So it, it just is a journey which continues. So it is a turning point is that particular junction at the corner and it changed my rest of my life forever. Um, I feel very fortunate to be the general secretary of this center here. The master has given me fond memories that I shall never forget. I wish all, all fellow Mackinacanites a very bright future and wish them a good luck. Take the opportunities and you know have fun with it.